Welcome back to Tech Talk, the daily roundup of what's shiny and new in technology. Today we're actually going to be talking about what's old and not so shiny. These inventions from the last 100 years rarely get top billing in the list of the greatest inventions of all time. Nevertheless, our lives have been made a little better. And a lot easier. By these ingenious technologies. For example, the refrigerator. Isn't it strange to think what life was like before this handy appliance came to kitchens everywhere in the 1920s and 30s? If you wanted fresh meat or produce... Or ice cream. You would have to walk to the store to get it. But today, thanks to the refrigerator, grabbing a cold drink is as easy as opening a door. Then there's the zipper. It's a simple technology, isn't it? Well, that may be true, but today it's used to fasten everything from jackets and boots to suitcases, to plastic pencil cases, to spacesuits. Wouldn't it be weird to see an astronaut gearing up with a hook and clasp? <laughs> Plumbing has been around for thousands of years, but only in the last century has it become commonplace inside the home. As a result, we don't have to go to the well for a fresh glass of water. Or heat water in the fireplace to take a warm bath. If you ask me, that's a pretty spectacular invention. These things are pretty ugly, don't you think? Before shipping containers were invented in the 1950s, shipping things around the world was very expensive. The reason for that is it took forever to load and unload boats. But thanks to these stackable containers, loading and unloading has been made much faster, and therefore shipping is cheaper. In fact, that's why a product from halfway around the world might be just as affordable as something made right at home. Barcodes, they're everywhere these days, aren't they? But before the barcode came along around 1970, it took a lot more time to track products, price them, and sell them at the counter. Today, with the barcode, all those tasks are being done in a second with a scanner. As a result, stores can sell things for less money. The pocket calculator made math easy for everyone, beginning in the 1970s. Doesn't it seem crazy that before these things came along, most people had to do math by hand? For instance, can you imagine trying to multiply a long string of numbers? Finding the square root of 17, they're doing your taxes without the help of a pocket calculator. Now, the way I see it, the credit card might be the most important invention in finance. Before the credit card became popular in the 1950s, you would have to carry cash or write a personal check. On the other hand, before the ATM became popular, you were out of luck if you needed cash or wanted to make a deposit after banking hours. That's why the ATM has my vote for the most important development in finance. Finally, our number one unheralded technology. Email. Before email became popular in the early 1990s, if you wanted to send someone a message, you'd have to actually Put it in an envelope. Lick a stamp. Drop it in the mail. And wait <gasps> for days for a reply. Now, communicating with anyone anywhere in the world just takes a few seconds. That's a lot better, don't you think? I do. That's all for Tech Talk today. We'll see you next time with new technologies that are likely to change your life tomorrow.